It's a fly love song. To the effect of nothing, effective fronting is what I don't allow, so let me tell you something. What's up, everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you two ways to uh, put movies into DVDs. So I may make a part one and part two, or just all in one video, depending on how long it takes. So the first one is iDVD, and that comes with everybody's Mac, so that should be like your number one choice. And uh, I'll explain the pros and cons later. So when you open it, you get started, and you make a new project, and then you create it. And when you create it, it goes into this menu. And this is the original uh, preset right here. What I like about iDVD is that you can customize it pretty good, and you can do a lot to it. So let's get started. First you go to File, then Import, then Video, and then where you go to where the, your movies are at. I'm going to choose this one that I have on my desktop. Wrecking for a Dream. It's a good movie. I recommend watching it. So then this comes up and it says your project exceeds the maximum content duration. So what you got to do, go to Project, Project Info, and then change it, change the encoding to professional quality. And that's because best performance is for videos that are about like 20 to 30 minutes or so. High quality is for like 50 minute videos. And professional quality is for movies and just pretty much everything from an hour past that. So you just click on that and then you can click on. So you can customize everything you want. You can um, you can change the name of this. You can change the size, everything. You can, and I'm just gonna change it to just the name of the movie. So you can click on it and you can move it where you want. You can also change this right here to whatever you want, but I'm just going to delete it because I don't really need it. Also, let's see. For this right, all right. The, this is one of the themes right here. And you can go down here, and they have a lot of themes. You can put whatever you want. This is the, all of these right here. This is the original one. This is like the, the one that you usually use, but you can change it to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And as you can see, you can change it. They got more right here that's 6.0 themes, solo themes. But the best ones are usually 7.0. So let me just get back to the original one. Let's see. You can also, the drop zones right here is that you can just drag and drop pictures or whatever you want. So what I, I'll just get some random picture. Let's see. That has nothing to do with anything, but whatever. So you just grab it and then grab and drop right there. And then as you can see, the movie's right there. And uh, it's pretty good, but I wouldn't recommend putting that. You, what you, also you could do, in, if you don't have any pictures, you could go to Auto Fill Drop Zones in Project. And what it does is that it just changes to the movie. And uh, it just shows clips of the movie right there. So when you do this, uh, you can either... This is just a basic way of doing it. You can also click on the movie, then go to advanced, and then put create chapter markers for movie. And then you can put it at every minute you want or whatever. So to whatever you want I'll put ten. Usually I do seven or eight. And then you do that and it's gonna go back to the original, but you can change it back again. So you can go down here it's for an overview of the movie. So when you put the DVD in it's gonna start out there and then you're going to click on the movie. And then when you click on the movie, it's going to go to here. And it, you can either choose from two options. Play movie, which it goes here. Or chapter selection, it goes to one of these over here. Alright. So let me just show you real quick. When you click on the movie, you're going to click on it. And then it's going to go to take you to this screen. It's going to say play movie or scene selection. And you can also change this one to whatever you want. You can change pretty much all of them to whatever you want. So this is pretty much, this is iMovie and this is like just a basic feature of what you can do. You can also put songs. You can put songs so when you're in the menu, you can it starts playing music. All you got to do is go to this and drag and drop. And then um, there's a lot more you can do, but this is just the basic features of it. it I'll let you find out more for us yourself and when you're done 
all you gotta do is click on this thing right here and then it's gonna tell you to insert a recordable disc and then you just put it in and it starts recording the only thing I don't like about this one is that when you do that the burning takes really long it takes like six hours for it to burn a DVD because you're doing so much in the menu it's gonna take forever to encode that so that's the only downside to iDVD but the good thing is that you can customize it to whatever you want and uh, you can just pretty much do whatever you want to it alright so now we're done with that one and I'm gonna show you the next one now